climate change, population growth and water shortages make sustainable use of water resources worldwide one of the greatest challenges of the 21st century. We have billions of people who are living in water-stressed regions uh, who don't have access to safe water and sanitation. And this is very likely to increase. And we all have our share at this problem and that's why we also have a responsibility to solve it. This overuse of global water resources leads to conflicting interests that we can only solve by using water efficiently and improving the living conditions in the affected regions. As a contribution to the blue gold, the funding measure Water as a Global Resource, in short GROW, was established. GROW is a research initiative funded by the Federal Ministry of Education and Research involving a couple of hundred researchers working on sustainable water management, so bringing the global and the local together. I think there are three main um, problems. So one is monitoring. Uh, the decision makers have to have good information about the watersheds they are dealing with. The other is technology and finance, so that we have technical solutions. But in many cases, um, the finance uh, of, of these technical solutions is still, still a big problem in many parts of the world. And uh, finally, governance is maybe the biggest issue. You have to consider that the, uh, the Ministry of Water rarely does the decision that affects water the most. Several GROW joint research projects are working on the topic of global water resources. So from a scientific point of view, we need to be aware we still need much better measures, much better monitoring, much better models to really know what is available, because only then we can support water management. I think we have to become more efficient in using our water resources. If you produce a crop or if you produce materials uh, throughout the world, and water hasn't been a big factor that has been considered in the production and that was just used because it's abundantly there, but it's getting less and less abundant and that's why we need to increase the efficiency of the global water use. On the one hand, the problem is lack of skills and acceptance, but there are also insufficient incentives to encourage efficient and sustainable water use. We need clear incentives which are not on the level of high political discussions, but on the level where the work is done. And therefore you have to connect and bridge between the political level of decisions and enforcement in practice. And this is what is lacking. Many countries have brilliant laws like in South Africa or in Russia. Sometimes the standards are more stringent than in Germany, but the thing is people don't just fulfill it because you don't police it. What do we have to do in the future? I think we need to bridge much quicker, much more efficiently and in a, in a highly concerted manner between science and decision makers. We will continue to now build on the results that they have prepared and developed uh, and translate them, synthesize them, and disseminate them to people who should hear the recommendations, who can probably make use of it. Science has got the tools available now, and uh, now it's time to apply those tools. And uh, so I just encourage uh, also the decision makers to take up the recommendations which have been published by the researchers today. And I think uh, what needs to be done now is to really face that water has a value.